Standardized test scores across the state are up from last year, but state officials say it's hard to compare the two years because of policy changes. Our Morgan Mackay takes a look at the standardized test results. The state education department explains that this year's test scores cannot be compared to previous years since the number of days a test was conducted was lowered from three days to two days. But here is what we do know. Out of the big five school districts, Rochester did receive the lowest scores in both English and math. And there's also still a gap seen in race with black and Hispanic students scoring lower than white students. Our staff have worked closely with Rochester to try to improve outcomes particularly in struggling schools. But it is time that we come together as a state and really analyze and look at how we can support the teachers in Rochester and the students in Rochester in meaningful ways. Next year, student test scores will be used in part to evaluate teachers, which the teachers union has been very vocal against. The bill to decouple test scores from teacher evaluations failed in the Senate last year, but there will be another big push this year to keep this from happening. The testing system to us is broken. It needs to be fixed. The move from three to two days, um, that was a start, but the tests themselves are developmentally inappropriate. However, there were less students this year that refused to take the test. But the teachers union says this does little to show parents' true feelings about the exam. It was a 1% decrease. So I don't really feel like it's a big decrease. Parents know what's best for their children. If they felt like the testing system had been fixed, then I would imagine that you would see a real decrease in opting out. But in order to change this, this has to happen on a legislative level. Education Commissioner Mary Ellen Elia said they are working on hearing from teachers across the state on teacher evaluations, but cautions hasty changes. When we do things fast in New York State, we don't usually do them well. And I would suggest to you that teachers' um, voices need to be heard. We will be having forums and focus groups all over the state. Reporting from the Capitol, I'm Morgan Mackay.